Now let us have a look at the tungsten energy states. This energy states show that the ground state is 0 plus, first excited state 2 plus which is quite evident for a even even nucleus. Energy goes up here, but the spacing of these energy levels are not uniform. The energy gap between 0 plus and 2 plus is 100 keV and then the energy gap increases. I have uh, redrawn the energy gaps here, which uh, just to show you that the energy gap between the levels is increasing consequently. And this is the a quadruple moment value plotted against the atomic number which shows that for a certain value of A the quadruple moment is just oscillating slightly uh, along this 0 value. So, quadruple moment along this line is having a 0 value. So, nuclei up to this A value are all spherical as they are having almost 0 quadruple moment then suddenly this value drops and between A equal to 150 to 190 the nucleus is having a quadruple moment I have a finite quadruple moment here and within this A range in a uh, nucleus I am sorry <coughs> nucleus is no longer spherical in shape it is almost like a squashed orange or something like that. So, just take a look at a sphere. If we have a sphere, it has a rotational symmetry because if we rotate this sphere by 90 degree, it will remain a sphere. No shape change will be detected. But if we rotate this kind of shape, by 90 degree again it will come like this. So, rotation is uh, very significant in case of the shape. Here the rotation does not have any effect, but here the rotation effect is very very predominant. It means that for higher A value nuclei there are rotational energy involved. So, this is the kinetic energy equal to uh, half mv square and which correspond to with an analogy of the rotational motion instead of m we can write i moment of inertia and instead of v we could have uh, written the angular velocity which is omega. This is the analogy from translation to rotational motion and if we just substitute the value of l equal to i omega that is uh, here i is equal to l by omega and i have substituted the value of i here. So, e becomes l square by twice i. But in quantum mechanics, we have already found this relation. So, l square will give me this value l into l plus 1 h cross square and so e will become like this. So, it should be L into L plus 1 h cross square by twice i if the rotational motion of the nucleus is involved. Now, what is the value of this rotational energy for ground state that is L equal to 0? If we put L equal to 0, E is also equal to 0. Now, what about the other L values? If we have L equal to 1, then it is 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 2. So, it is 2 h cross by i which is equal to h cross square by i because this 2's are cancelling out and for there should be 2 here and for a equal to 2 e equal to here 2 into 2 plus 1 that means 2 into 3 which is 6. So, 6 by 2 h cross square by i which is equal to 3 h cross square. Similarly, for l equal to 3 we have 12 h cross square by twice i which will give us 6 h cross square and so on we can uh, find, uh, find the energy value or correspond to l equal to 4, l equal to 5 and so on. 
Now I have written the energy values corresponding to these L values, uh, where we have taken the H cross square by twice I factor in common and all these energy values are written in H cross square by twice I unit that is it means uh, this is 6 h cross square by twice i 20 h cross square by twice i and these are the L values and these are the energy levels as you can see that the difference between the L equal to 0 and L equal to 2 state the energy difference is 6 fine but between L equal to 2 and L equal to 4 the energy values differ by 14. Now, you will ask me why I have taken the L equal to even values only. This is because experimental result shows that all the energy levels of the tungsten show positive parity and this uneven spacing what we have just calculated from this by calculating the energy values corresponding to L values different L values. So, this anomaly that is the non-uniform spacing of the energy levels can be explained only if we take the rotational motion of the nucleus and rotational motion of any nucleus is relevant only when the nucleus is itself a non-spherical substance. And if we can find out uh, the ratio between this E 4 plus state and the next one, the next lower level which is uh, this 4 plus and the 2 plus, uh, that this, this will be 3.3. That means, here we have to divide 20 divided by 6. So, this will give me 3.3 and this is completely fine with the experimental result. So, here just to recap about the energy and the atomic number, this is the ground state 0 plus with a certain A value that is for lower L values, shell model works fine, just simply fine and we get equispaced energy levels. But for a little bit higher A values, uh, that is between 150 around. Uh, 150 to 190 around we will get a vibrational spectra and along with this with a slightly increasing A value we are getting rotational spectra also.